We give Helen a big pile of hay every night, and Uma's favorite thing to do is dive into it and make a big mess and get it all over the place. Uma is super tough. She's constantly chatting. And it's really sweet because Helen just listens to her, and I think that's why Uma likes Helen so much, because she has so much to say, and Helen is an excellent listener. <laughs> Helen was rescued from an auction when she was a baby. The woman that was taking care of her got sick, and Helen needed a place to go, so we stepped in, and she's been here for about four years. She can see shadows, I think, a little bit, but she has wonderful smelling. Her favorite snack in the world is watermelon. She can smell a watermelon from literally across the field. So if I bring a watermelon out, she'll come from all the way on the other side of the field, and she can just smell it. But hearing is also really big for her because that's how she kind of senses when somebody's around her. Uma's very, very vocal, very talkative. Helen definitely didn't really know what to do with Uma at the beginning. You could tell she had never met a pig before. And it took a while for Helen to sort of realize that Uma wasn't a threat. That's just who she is and that's how she sort of presents herself. When she first came here, she was very shy, a little standoffish, but as time progressed, I could tell that she was lonely. And so we rescued Betsy, who was pregnant, she gave birth to Oliver. The first thing he did was come straight to Helen. Her entire personality changed. Every time we get a new rescue, she welcomes them. We call her Queen, Queen Helen. <laughs> and Uma is definitely the princess, and that's just because she's a total diva, and she gets whatever she wants, and she demands what she wants. Uma came to us when she was less than a month old. She explores the entire sanctuary she did from day one. I mean, when she was like this big, she goes everywhere. She says hi to everyone. Helen is obviously like huge compared to Uma. And she could totally just stomp on Uma, but she doesn't. She's super gentle and lets her eat her food and lets her lay with her. Obviously their favorite thing to do is to eat. <laughs> we like to give them separate watermelons. When I put the grain out for dinner, Uma gets very excited and she'll sort of weave in between Helen's legs and Helen just stands there and she's just like, oh, it's just Uma. It's just really sweet to watch. I can see them from my kitchen window and she'll come out and just sniff around and kind of make sure that Helen's okay. She's actually started sleeping out here with Helen, which is really sweet because she'll make like a bed out of the Helen's hay and just lay next to Helen under the stars and it's really beautiful. Uma is really protective of Helen. We have some really big steers that will occasionally come into this field. She'll start sort of circling Helen to make sure they don't get next to her. Uma is such a force and she's changed Helen's life, but I'm sure that Helen has changed her life. We try to give them as much freedom as we can to go where they want and hang out with who they want and be who they want. And in what situation do you ever see such different species forming a friendship? And I think that that's just so incredible.